What's up everyone, TechLoud here and in this video I'm going to unbox the Flux Labs FA10 amplifier and I will tell you the detail a little bit later. Let's look at the box and the content of the box. It comes with the unbranded box. It doesn't have any branding or writing on the box, just a simple cardboard box and it comes with the amplifier and the cable and that's pretty much it. It is uh, pretty well packed. It was shipped all the way from Ukraine to my country and uh, it was uh, not damaged at all and uh, packed pretty well. In addition to the forms on the sides, the amplifier is wrapped in the plastic and once you remove the plastic, you are pretty much good to go. So let's talk a little bit about the amplifier. This is a very powerful amplifier made by the Flex Labs. Flex Labs is not a very well known company at the moment but uh, they are producing beast of the amplifiers and it seems uh, that they are uh, best kept secret in the hi-fi world. This particular amp is uh, very powerful and uh, it uh, produces uh, 16 watt uh, at 16 ohms which is a very powerful for a headphone uh, amplifier and this is the reason why I bought this amplifier since I was looking for a very powerful amplifier for my hi-fi man Suswara headphones. The amp itself has the industrial look with the screws visible on the front plate, on the sides and on the back. It does not have the flashy design but uh, it goes very well with the rest of the equipment and although it is understated and does not uh, scream uh, look at me uh, kind of a thing but uh, still it looks pretty neat. And since I have received this uh, amplifier there are more color options as well. That was not the case when I ordered it. Anyways, I was uh, going to order the black one anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. But if you are uh, looking for a more colorful amplifier, then there are other options available. Just uh, drop them uh, a message or email. They have not only launched the new colors, they have also launched a different version of uh, this uh, amplifier as well called uh, FA10 Pro. And uh, I will talk about the differences between this and the other one in my detailed review and also there are uh, one more amplifier available called uh, FA12 and I will also demonstrate the differences between this and that amplifier which is not uh, as powerful as this one but that is the balanced amplifier and this one is the single ended amplifier. If you are not familiar with the differences between the single ended and the balanced amplifier then uh, read the link in the description you will learn the differences between the single ended and the balanced amplifiers the amplifier comes with a pretty standard and generic kind of volume knob right in the center which is very apparent because it is silver on a back uh, faceplate i do wish that they had used a more better looking uh, volume knob than this one this one looks uh, pretty generic and diy type of uh, stuff other than the volume knob it comes with the three buttons on the left hand side the first button from the right is the gain switch which has three settings high low and uh, medium depending upon your um, headphone uh, power requirement you can set it to low medium or high and it will boost the volume accordingly the second button from the right is the input button you can select from a single ended or a balanced input Balance is basically the XLR inputs and the single ended is the RCA inputs. So depending upon the type of the input that you are using, you can select the input from uh, this switch. You will soon see on the back that uh, both the RCA and the XLR inputs are available. The third button from the right is the power on and off switch and next to the switch is the power LED. So as you power on the amplifier, the LED lights up. It looks blue on the camera but uh, in reality it looks uh, more towards white. So as you turn it on you will uh, hear pretty satisfying clicks inside the amplifier. All these buttons are uh, very well made and uh, give you confidence that they are going to last for a long time. On the right hand side you have the two outputs for your headphones. One is the single ended and the other one is the balanced. For the balanced they are using the 4 pin XLR and for single ended they are using 6.5 mm jack. So depending upon your headphones and also the cable that you are using with your headphones, 
you can use either the single ended or the four pin balanced XLR. There is no 4.4 mm or 2.5 mm balanced uh, output and uh, you have to use adapter if uh, your headphone requires any of such kind of output. On the back you will find the audio inputs and uh, also the power um, input. For the balance input you have a 3 pin XLR option for uh, separate channels as you can see right and left. For a single ended input you have option to use RCA cable from your source. The power supply of the amp is built in and uh, only you have to connect the cable and the power supply depending upon where you live might require 110 volts or 220 volts. You have to choose this uh, while you are ordering this amplifier. It doesn't have the selector switch where you can select either one of them. Either you have to buy 110 or 220 depending upon where you live. On the top right hand side it has the vents for the heat uh, venting and there is a heat sink on the right hand side and it gets uh, pretty warm on that side and if you touch the amplifier on those uh, vents it is uh, pretty warm to the touch it's not too hot i mean it's not comf uncomfortable to touch but still it gets uh, pretty warm on that side but uh, on the other side where there is no vents the amplifier is pretty much uh, not that much warm to the touch stays uh, pretty cool on that side since it is a class uh, a amplifier so it produces uh, more heat as compared to the other amplifiers which are uh, class uh, b or d or whatever it is there is also a, a DAC and amp uh, combo available for this particular um, amplifier so if you don't have a DAC you can uh, buy that uh, instead of uh, just the amplifier and uh, another advantage of that device is that it uh, comes uh, with the ethernet port and you can use it as a streamer as well which is a very nice feature since i already had a separate DAC so i don't need the combo device so i only bought uh, the amplifier so guys this was the unboxing and the walkthrough of the flux lab uh, f 10 amplifier i hope that you have uh, liked the video and if you want to see the full review of uh, this product, then uh, subscribe to this channel and stay tuned. Uh, you will find the review in the upcoming videos. Please, uh, if you have liked the video, make sure you press the thumbs up button at the bottom of this video. See you. Bye.